Ui. It is time to start one of the DLCs as Pavati walks off into the fire. Into this room there. That kind of looked badass in the back. Anyways, it's time to start this side quest, which is... What's it called? Parallel Gorgon. The one DLC that I've actually played beforehand. Halcyon Helen's DLC is something I haven't played yet, but I'm starting with the one I know. Because this is still a permadeath and I don't want to die. Hawthorne, if you're getting this, something's happened to me. Got mixed up in some shady business on Gorgon. Should have known better. But I landed on something big. And now this job's an itch I can't stop scratching. There's a whole research compound left to the Sprats. I think I'm close to figuring out why. But something dangerous is closer to me. Got the job through one mini Ambrose. Top runger who just came into some money and was offering a hefty bid card for qualified help. Trust me, her money's good. Talk to Minnie. Take the job. If I ain't gonna live to see the payday, might as well be you. At least has fuck. Us even, old pal. Well, that fellow certainly seemed trustworthy. I've gotten jobs from some unusual sources, but this is a first. Congratulations, Captain. I don't mean to sound prim, Captain, but there's gotta be a better way to ask someone to do you a favor. At least this won't be boring. Am I missing someone of my team saying something? Yeah. It's Sam. Of course it's Sam. Ah. Uh... Ada, what the hell is going on? Lucky Montoya owed Captain Hawthorne a considerable debt. I believe this is what humans refer to as payback. Captain? The message contains landing coordinates for a small asteroid in the Charybdis cluster. It was recently registered to a Wilhelmina Ambrose. Oh, are we going to talk about the severed arm on the kitchen table? I, for one, was hoping to do the exact opposite of that. What? Do you want to shake its hand? <laughs> that ain't really that fellow's arm, right? It's gotta be a dummy. Or a toy? Well, I'm not cleaning it up. Clean up service request process. Disposal of human arm from the unreliable's cargo hold will commence in the immediate future. Simulating disgust. How distasteful. Humans eat there. I'm not touching it. Etc. Lucky Montoya had a statistically significant tendency to encounter situations of extreme danger. Oh, really? I thought he lost his arm gambling. He was also the fourth best paid freelancer in the system. Only the fourth? There are several hundred freelancers operating in Halcyon. Considering the numbers, Mr. Montoya ranked among the top percentile. This had less correlation with his measured aptitudes, which rank at or below average, than with a pattern of fortunate circumstances. I didn't understand that either, so that sounds good for me. That's not... <laughs> Captain, just when I think I've heard the depths of insight you're capable of, you find a way to surprise me. I do not advise deriving probabilities from coincidence, but I am programmed to offer you encouragement. I have transferred the coordinates for Ambrose Manor to your navigation terminal. We can travel there when you are ready. But first, you look tired, Ellie. What are you drinking? Something on your mind? You look tired. Let's talk about the Gorgon Chop. There's one thing you could say about Lucky Montoya. He was always at the center of a story. I guess this is fitting. You, you knew Lucky Montoya? Sure. Like Ada said, he was a big name among freelancers. I met him at Lost Hope once. He was buying rounds for everyone and telling a story about one of his jobs. Pretty sure half of it was made up. Don't need it. Hmm. Why do you say that? Do you ever get the feeling someone's just trying too hard? Yeah. Everything's... <laughs> everything's hard. <laughs> well, maybe for some of us. 
There was just something about Montoya I couldn't quite trust. He was always at the center of a room, and he slapped a lot of backs to stay there. Oh. You think he was all talk? Yeah. I'm trying to say that if he screwed this job up, that's on him. I still like our odds. He may have had a rep, but you're more capable than he ever was. Oh. Thank you. Oh, wow, Ellie. That's nice of you to say. Hey, don't get used to it. I What's will. on your mind? Why are you looking like that? Any idea what happened to Lucky? From his arm? The decay makes it hard to tell. It could be a lot of things. Torn off by something with big teeth, torn off by something with big claws, torn off by someone with a moderately sharp blade. Or maybe he just got too close to heavy machinery. Hmm. Sure. Something on your mind? Oh, I can't take it. Hawthorne, if you're getting this, something's happened to me. Got mixed up in some shady business on Gorgon. I'm pretty sure we listened to that. And I need to sleep and everybody's gone. Is somebody in the toilet to talk to? No. Would be weird anyways. Hey, Cap. Sure. Anything new? Nope. Hey. Out of the way. I'm the captain, I go first. You. I could spend hours reflecting on the secret workings of the universe. Little else in this colony offers such a relaxing pastime. So, tell me what's on your mind. I excel oh. at confessional listening. I like daydreaming too. <laughs> Gorgon business. Perhaps it's just my judicious nature, but I think we should be careful if we're following up on this lucky fellow's message. Why? I've always felt caution as the best approach when one has delivered a message attached to a severed limb. <sighs> you think it's a setup? Well, all we have to go on is that overly dramatic message, but I think it's safe to say this lucky fellow's upper story is lacking in the gray matter department. It doesn't strike me as a setup, but I still advise caution. If it's a sub or if, if it's a setup, whoever's behind it will regret it. I couldn't have said it better myself. I didn't think much of the Gorgon story. It was a cool area to explore. It Scanning wasn't that. C2. It wasn't that amazing either, but still, it was more content. <laughs> but it wasn't as good. Well, I feel like I needed to buy the next DLC. The fights were kind of lackluster, not enough enemies. So I feel like I have a oh, good chance of actually killing everything in there. Hey, I didn't even see that I got that. Water. I mean, tea. Uh, Cheese. Okay, Parvati, next. You. You think I could hire myself out to ships in need someday? Be my own mechanic, like how Ellie's her own doctor? I wonder sometimes. No, you belong to my side, Parvati. What are your thoughts on Gorgon? It's a shame about what happened to that lucky fella. Maybe finishing what he started will help put his spirit to rest. Oh, you poked around to unreliable. Have I found any record of Lucky Montoya? Not a word. And I've been sticking my nose in every one of our stately ladies' crannies, stem to stern. Oh, law. That sounds untoward, don't it? Uh, that ain't, uh, that ain't what I meant. Point is, Captain, Mr. Hawthorne left all kinds of scribblings behind panels and under consoles, but ain't a lick of it mentioned Mr. Lucky. So whatever they got up to in the past must have been really extra secret. And lots of fun. Sure. Probably lots of fun. How are you feeling about this job right now? It sure is lonely out here on the edge of the colony. Anything could happen. And ain't no one gonna come to help us. 
We got each other's back. So, let's go to the house. Welcome back, Captain. How can oh. I be of assistance? I don't need anything from you. Morgan. What else do we have here? Olympus. I don't know what's on there. It's probably part of the other quest. Well, first, a lot of talking. I'm gonna bring Ellie, by the way. I could upgrade our damage. I need to sleep immediately again. Lovely. Let's upgrade her armor. Where is it? There. That's all I can afford. That is the only person with original armor. Let's take a little nap. That's the bad thing about fast traveling here and there and traveling through the universe. I would have preferred if they would automatically up the sleep time when they fast travel through the universe because it's just I feel like a normal thing if she would fly there for a few I think I'll initiate an unscheduled rest cycle while you're out yeah. out I feel like it would be natural when you travel through the galaxy for a few hours that you would go to sleep and then um, are ready fully awakened to Ambrose Manor we were not expecting company please follow do not stray from the path yeah we'll see about that boy boy no That's not funny. <laughs> Been there, little guy. Ah. Uh, the This unit is under construction. Thank you for your patience. Can I put him out of his misery? No, I can. He's out of his misery. The biggest thing I remember about the main storyline is there's so much talking at the end of it. Oh, glacier water. It was just 30 minutes of talking and I was like, yeah, just get it done. Because it, uh, it went nowhere. Those are made up weapons. I get sold. Rats. Nice work. Oh damn. Don't mess with us. Damn they're aggressive. Haven't seen sprats in a while. Hello there. I need to work on my lock picking, I guess. Ah oh, damn it! After long guns and small guns, <laughs> lock picking or oh, medicine too. That formation looks good. Keep your guard up. Could be all manner of surprises in there. At the very least, there ought to be something worth stealing in there. <laughs> Already ahead of you. Like New York car is party member number okay, one. Maybe not. I take it back. Ain't nothing here but memories. Ah, we'll find stuff to steal. Don't worry, I'm an expert. Ugh. Say. Say. Even if it's just food. Oh, I guess nothing. Wow. Water. That's better. I can't believe it's not paused. Oh, secrets. Is that 
empty. I am not sure if I was here. Think they've ever tried to use this while the fireplace was on? This point needs to be damn it. I want lock picking now. Jump. Probably worthless. Duh, holy hell. Oh no. Duh. Okay, enough of that. Hey look. Schools. See, we can steal stuff. Perfect. Nice bathroom. No shower though. Oh. Ah, it's a toilet. Shampoo bottle. What am I supposed to do with that? It's nothing to drink. We're in showering. Oh yeah, right. Character. The hame. Got them rich people. Cool design though. For bedroom. Super jealous. And in there. Oh. We got the two. Damn, they're having some cool bedrooms. Dear Wilhelmina, I hope this letter finds you well. No, it's too stilted. It sounds like I'm writing to request a loan. Dearest Wilhelmina, I regret to tell you. Law, no, that's worse. When have I ever called her dearest? <sighs> She's my <sighs> daughter. This should be easy. How can a mother not know how to talk to her own daughter? My love, I can no longer... For your safety, I must... Oh, hell. Even if she despises me for what I... What I had to do, I should still be able to say goodbye. Minnie, I have to leave, and I don't intend to come back. I love you. I'm so sorry. We get a nice gun. Dear. Dear. Force and power, the closer you're to death, just like a real doctor. P. P. I mean, I feel like I gotta try it at least. Maybe it shoots real nice. It just froze my game. <laughs> it just froze my game. It looks nice. At least that's a thing. I actually should put that on Ellie, but Ellie is already rocking. Thunder. Lightning and the thunder. Oh, join me for a drink, mister. Whoever you are. This seems kind of lonely. So who the devil are you? Hmm. Who will pull Captain of the Unreliable? You don't say. Well, make yourself at home, Captain. I'm sure we have much to discuss. Do you see that glowing chunk of space rock? That's Gorgon. My birthright. My burden. And the bane of my existence. I hate to drink alone, and this is my third. So join me in raising a glass to Gorgon. I hate your hairstyle, your hair color, your eyebrows, your shirt, and that little thing there. And I'm definitely not drinking anything. Oh. That's a little too early for me. It's always tears o'clock somewhere, Captain. 
Time in new car. My house runs on asteroid time, but suit yourself. Oh, God. The name's Wilhelmina Ambrose. But why not keep it short and call me Minnie? Save us all some time. Now, what brings you to my house, handsome? I take it you didn't come all this way for the beverages, the starry skies, or the pleasant company. Uh, <coughs> uh, severed arm business. A severed arm? How positively ghoulish. You know this is a private residence, not a curio shop. Oh my god. Oh my god. I hate her. Does the name Lucky Montoya mean anything Lucky to you? Lucky Montoya is my personal freelancer. Fascinating man. Very brooding and theatrical. Always <sighs> staring into space and twirling a bullet over his knuckles. He's definitely not doing that anymore. But if something happened to him... Oh dear. I suppose that makes him my former freelancer now? Ah, <sighs> he got fired just because he lost an arm. He got fired just because he lost an arm? That's how I need to pronounce it. Among other parts, I assume. Ugh. What a time for his luck to run out. We were in the middle of something grand, and I really can't afford another setback. His recording mentioned the high-stakes job. Funny that you should bring that up. How would you like to be my new freelancer? There's been a recent vacancy, and I think you're well-suited to the job. Remember, play hard to get. That's negotiation. You're awful quick to trust a bunch of strangers that broke into your home. I'm looking for someone rough around the edges. A gorgeous, dashing scoundrel type. Incidentally, someone good with their hands. I will kill you if I get that quest, and then I will just kill you in front of me, and I don't care. I just want to go to the planet and explore. <sighs> if I see anyone like that, I'll let you know. You're not grasping this, are you? You're the one I'm after. God. Allow me to lay out the facts, and you can decide for yourself if you want to be my chief investigator. My mother, Dr. Olivia Ambrose, worked for Spacer's Choice at the Gorgon Research Facility. She was brilliant, the top scientist in her field, until tragedy struck. One day, Spacer's Choice shut down all research and evacuated Gorgon. Everyone had to scramble or risk getting left behind. It was chaos. Employees fled for their lives. Mother... never made it home. I'm told she wasn't the only casualty that fateful day. Mother's name has since been dragged through the mud. Spacer's Choice blames her for the collapse of Project Gorgon, and I just know they're lying. Oh god, you talk too much. Stick to, the ba stick to the basics. What do you need from me? Whatever happened on Gorgon wasn't Mother's fault. I simply need the evidence to prove it. We're going to drag the truth, kicking and screaming into the light. Even if it means bringing ruin and humiliation to Spacer's choice. All the evidence I need should be in Mother's journal. You can find it in her office on Gorgon, in the heart of the old research facility. I can't make any promises until I see Gorgon for myself. By all means, go and see what you're up against. I'm certain Mother's journal won't go far. When you reach Gorgon, pack a weapon you trust. The corporate lockdown hasn't stopped the wilderness from squirming in through the cracks. I'll be careful. There's a little saloon near Gorgon's landing pad, the Sprat Shack. Lucky was renting a room, so if you want to follow his trail, that would be the place to start. I think I've heard of that place. Cheap whiskey, rough crowd. You'll love it. I ought to stop in and taste the local flavor. Just so we understand each other, money is no object. I'm willing to squander the family fortune if you get me what I want. Between your payment and any salvage you happen across, you'll walk away from this rich enough to buy a mansion of your own. How does that sound? Ah. Uh... Tell me about the catch. The catch? No one's ever done this before, and the only person who tried is a corpse. Believe me, that's enough. 
Here's your nav key, Captain. Safe travels. <laughs> yep, it's real. Bite the nav key. How can you tell? On second thought, don't answer that. A word of advice before you go, Captain. Trust no one. Uh, Mother's yeah. office is in the heart of the Gorgon facility. You're free to salvage anything that isn't nailed down. I only want what's mine. Salvage rights and a paycheck? This is almost too good to be true. It's not theft if she's giving us permission. Oh, I need to do something. Nope. Oh, I need to do something bad. Here we go. There goes that payday. <laughs> uh, why? I hate her. I hate her. But we got the bird out, which doesn't look very special either. Oh my god. Maybe it shoots nice. Does it have something cool? Ah, oh, good. I hate it. I hate it. Just like the girl we just talked to. I'm not in here into this quest for the storyline anyways. And I just butchered the storyline. Huh. Nah, nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Yeah, perfect. I wanted to drink something. Oh, good. I mean, no, nah, we're not done here. We're not done here. Feels better. What the hell? That's new. Maybe that's a quick ending. Huh. I never saw that before. Personal lab. I'll admit, I was expecting a wine cellar. Damn, someone really didn't want this place found. Oh boy, look at that thing. That could kill me. I was never in here before. That's all new to me. Guess that's a big secret here. Hmm. I'm too stupid. Interesting. Third. Nothing important. Hmm. 
I hope there ain't no more of those turrets in here. This one seems scary, damn it. Don't I have a lock picking helmet? Damn it. I have to live quick. I never knew that I needed lock picking so badly. Where's that thing? Oh. Why does this seem like death? Okay. Damn it. What are you experimenting down here? Seems like little drones. Oh, spreads. Hmm. Heavily armed too. And probably humans. Okay, she's a trustworthy, innocent woman with too much free time. Probably. This place seems just dangerous as all hell. Who sell my gold? Okay, we're gonna be full of all the good loot here. Maybe even some high level armors. Holy loot. It's a gigantic underground dungeon. Oh, workbench, nice. Like I said, never was done here before, even though I played the DLC. And I probably, nope, can't hack it. <laughs> Guess I need to invest in lock picking too. God, I got so many weapons that don't look that bad, but I feel like they are not better than what I have. Okay, now it gets dangerous. Thank you. 
Wakey wakey. Damn. That's a screenshot. I'm doing this quest in a completely weird order. Weird. Nice underground evil layer. Super villain layer. Yeah. That's the right one. But thanks, no evil robots spawn here. Surprise me. Those enemies seem quite strong. But I shouldn't jinx myself. Oh, hello. Come in your way. What do we have over here? I feel like from what I've gathered from the main quest, the end of the main quest, you have two sides you can choose. Against the contract giver we just killed. So that would lead you down here, probably. Or oh, with the contract giver, which will keep you on Gorgon. Huh. The street cave. Nice view. Nice view. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, far. I knew it. I should have done that. I mean, I will come back to this place anyways. Because I guess I already choose my side. Picked it. Out of beans. Note to myself, invest more into lock picking. After long guns. Ah yes, I remember this. Okay, I guess this is the main quest done pretty much. For Gorgon. City. I got a lot to sell. And I know exactly the right vendor for that. Captain, we have a transmission request from a Spacer's Choice corporate signal. Ah, oh, sing. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's Choice. I ask that you do not make me say that again. <laughs> Catching you through, Captain. Captain, I hope you're enjoying that view of the Gorgon asteroid. Beautiful, isn't it? Ah, an isolated wasteland, my kind of joint. Isolated, yes. Wasteland? Hardly. My name is Lucian Bancroft, and until very recently I was collaborating with Miss Ambrose on a business venture. I've encountered what you might call a regrettable setback. Well, I killed her. <laughs> I mean the part where I killed her. Precisely. Well, go on. I have a unique job that may be suited to your equally unique talents. Mm. Dr. Olivia Ambrose, the mother of my former associate, was the head of a research facility on the Gorgon asteroid. That was before her, shall we say, ignoble downfall. The facility has since been closed down, but I have reason to believe Dr. Ambrose left her journal behind. It contains data that is vital to an ongoing pharmaceutical project. Yes, they have actually introduced a backup plan in case everybody or anybody wants to kill her, which 
there are reasons for that. Uh, as long as I don't have to wear a moon person hat, I'll take the job. Let's hope it never comes to that. Hmm. The facility is under lockdown, so you'll have to find your way around security. For reasons of discretion, I can't be seen assisting you at this time. Miss hmm. Ambrose had a freelancer assigned to the task already. His last known location was the Sprat Shack, a tavern near the Gorgon landing pad. I have every reason to believe the journal is in Dr. Ambrose's office. Happy hunting. Oh. Hmm. Transmission ended, Captain. Hmm. Strange girl, what do you make of him? He ended his transmission with a courteous expression of gratitude to the Unreliable's navigation terminal. Unfortunately, I am incapable of feeling flattered. Okay. And I need to drink, eat, and sleep again. Ah, <sighs> lovely. That is food. Perfect. And let's take a nap you beforehand. You want to consider changing your clothes more often. No, but I won't shower. Nobody here wants to date me anyways. It doesn't matter. Ah. Uh. Do we have showers in this universe? Remember that you are not insured. Okay, I read something else. Put interesting. What you said interesting. Okay, well, we'll mostly stick with Ellie and Neoka for this one. I feel like this is more so an Ellie wasteland. I don't know what kind of mess Baser's Choice made here, but it figures they'd leave it to someone else to clean up. Damn. They went even harder on the purple in this Baser's Choice edition. Good. Okay, let's check what's behind the landing pod. That there can take it probably. Stop. Let's cheat it. Damn, I'm looking good. And not weird at all. A lot to sell. But we are meeting the right person in a few seconds. Uh, anyways, 40. Oh, that's pretty good. Not good enough. Not good enough. Bum, 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 bum. Jump. I'm looting everything. Oh, I need it all. Okay. Secret. Probably nothing. Nothing. Lovely. Wunderbar. I love if I go the extra mile and don't find anything worth looting. Not even an easter egg. Just doesn't plasma cut it. There is the vendor. No one lasts long on Gorgon unprepared. Do a look unprepared. I can take a hint. <laughs> Say it louder, please. Let's go naked again. Five seconds. Oof. Holy hell! Oof! Oh, I feel like we got some new armor here. Holy hell! Poof! Guess that's the end of my lockpicking thing. 
How cool looking is that? Eh, it's the iconoclast thing. The armor is better at least. 89, one handed melee, damn it. and stealth skills nah doesn't look good on her I'm gonna sell it uh, Ellie's staying in a cool outfit I like that outfit I wasn't stealing anything around here can I take that crash yes I said trash instead of trash. That was a weird one. Okay, let's talk business. You looking for supply, stranger? Mm. Let's stock up here. If you run low on bullets out in Gorgon's far reaches, there ain't no one around here liable to help you out. Let me know if you're looking for something particular. Oh, Gorgon is a walk in the park. I'll take that evacuation alarm, Miss Durgent. Huh? Oh, you don't gotta worry about that. It's got something to do with that scrapped Spacer's Choice project from way back. Damn, alarm's been hollering at us for five years if it's been a day. You know, I don't dream anymore. It's all, please evacuate in an orderly fashion. Ah, uh, should I? I don't know, turn it off. I won't stop you if you want to have a go at it. But so you know, it's going to take more than giving that control terminal a good old-fashioned pummeling. I know, because even Von Hoffman couldn't bash it in. And I seen that tough son of a gun throw man clean across the Sprat Shack one time like he were a toss ball. Mm. So this is school gone? You mean you came out to this asteroid without knowing nothing about it? <laughs> Me too. Heard it was wild here and couldn't resist. Trouble is, if you wander off to somewhere you oughtn't be, like way out in Gorgon's farthest reaches, odds are slimmer of your bits finding their way to my pockets. If you want my advice, stick close to the Sprat Shack, unless you fancy having your limbs torn off and eaten. Give him your best unimpressed look. You okay? Does your stomach hurt or something? Look, I ain't stopping you from wandering elsewhere, but if you do, be sure you watch out for the Marauders. That's the number one thing. And the Mance, I guess. You watch out for Marauders, Mance, and Charles from accounting, and you'll probably be fine. Who's Charles from accounting? Only the meanest Marauder on Gorgon, and also anywhere else. That man is crazier than a bag of canids and twice as likely to bite. He will bust your head open like an overripe mock apple if he so much as sees you. I ain't joking. He'll snap you in half like stale bread noodles. Oh. Please welcome to try. No, no, you don't get it. Charles from accounting is like... Imagine if you took three of the most howling mad marauders you could find and mashed them together. That's Charles. Gross. Not like that, Hallhead. Metaphorically. Well, I warned you. If you run off and get exploded to death by a madman with a rocket launcher now, that's on you. Mm -hmm. Go back to the bot about the rocket launcher. Sure. Okay. He's got a rocket launcher. How did he get a rocket launcher? Couldn't say. He kills anyone who gets close enough to ask. Look, long story short, you do not fuck with Chuck. Best to avoid the Marauder camp entirely. That's my two bits on the matter. Oh, uh, we'll kill him. I bought Charles. Yeah? Where did you say he was again? The Marauder camp way out to the east. That's what I heard, at least. And I sure hope you're asking so you can keep a safe distance away. I'm gonna kill him. 
project Gorgon. Only that Spacer's Choice shut it down in a big hurry. From what I heard, some of their folks got left behind even. Don't seem like the project ended well. Found a pickaxe in the mine like none I've ever seen before. Could be awful useful if you're the violent type. I'm just shooting from a safe distance type. Handy deconstruction. Mm hmm. How about. No. Anything extra cool? That I assault rifle, me. Vermin 2. Automatic. Light machine gun Mark 3 will be used later on for the companions. Yeah, I'm gonna sell in this episode, and the next episode will be the spread check. This was enough talking for me. Peace out.